Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be running the Cavern of Lost Faith. That's right. And well, oh jeez, my Dunkleys! My Dunkleys are under attack! And well, oh my Rhino even came running out. Jeez, man. Alright, hold up. Everybody passive, everybody passive. Chill. Everybody chill. You, go back up on the beach. I can't even, but like legit, my Dunkleys are under attack. So, I went out and got Dunkleys. I, what is with you? I just told you, how'd you landing? Okay, you land, stay landed. Oh, I have my flippers on now, this is just great. I was getting ready to go into the Cavern of Lost Faith here. And then the, my intro just got all interrupted after I threw up my Dunkleys. So, this should be pretty easy. Uh, these guys, I've already bred down the line. They, I got two really good ones easily. Like, it seems like with the water creatures, their stats are higher for some reason. And I don't know if that's just because there's... Maybe there's something... Oh, they probably... It's because they don't have oxygen stats. So, therefore... Uh, there's no points going into oxygen. That might be why all their stats are also higher and this is easier. Um, I forgot to... Uh, actually get a screenshot of these or I might have a screenshot of them pop up right about now but I don't have one as of the time I'm talking about this but I will have one pop up and I also will show you guys a map of the oh there it is the cavern of lost faith here now I have run this once with one of the megalodons I had and it got annihilated like completely utterly so I've decided we're gonna go armor here so we got us uh, some dunkleys now these guys you can use for like underwater mining but the best thing i understand them for was if you got like metal structures underwater yeah they're they're like the they'll chomp through it they'll crush it they're kind of like the bullet sponges of underwater that's what i was told the dunkleys are and then you, you also got the giant turtles from genesis and all that so, um, there should be like a bunch of eels in here and they're little nasty buds. And there's a bunch of them there. Do I still got all three Dunkleys? I do somehow. I think it's because I, well, actually I have not even, I forgot to change their follow distance. But it's, I think what they're at is just perfect. Um, I do see a drop. What I would like to do here is, come on guys, eat them. So, if you're wondering what the composition of my Dunkleys is, I have one female and three males. So, I got triplets out of one. Then it's like, alright, I'll keep all three. May as well. And then it's like, alright, we got a female one. Alright. I'm not meaning to mine. I was trying to eat that guy for the biotoxin, honestly. Um, I also thought that guy was a drop when I initially saw him. So, that's also why I went there. Let me quickly do this. I actually have all my good gear on me. I should have probably left uh, some of that on the Rhino. But that's my own fault. We're already in here. Uh, Biotoxin is for the Archelon Turtles. Which I might go and try and tame. Because apparently they have something called Sushi. And if you feed Sushi to a creature that you have knocked out in taming. If you have lost any uh, taming efficiency. The Sushi will... Uh, give it more taming efficiency or we'll recover it also where is this damn I hope we can get the dunkleys through here they're probably gonna get stuck I got stuck they're gonna get stuck one of them is stuck and this is the scary part because now if I hop off and I, like, get stuck somewhere. Okay, we should be fine. We got the flippers. We move pretty fast in the water. It's just if a bunch of eels start attacking me, I will die. <laughs> I do not have the best oxygen tanks anymore. Because, again, last episode when we were doing the underwater explorer notes, uh, I died. <laughs> Lost all my good ones. Now, technically, I still have the blueprint for them. I could go make them. But this time around, I just decided to go grab them out of my, uh, 
you know, my collection of stuff I've gotten from drops. Also, oh, that, when those Dunkleys pop out of the water like that, it kind of freaks me out. Because everything's telling me it should not be that high up out of the water and that it should insta-die. I kind of want to hop off and fix it. I want to put you back in the water, buddy. Eh. There we go. Ooh, what the heck? Why couldn't I see? That was weird. So, I've already got that explorer note. So, it was here in the next room when I got annihilated on the Megalodon. So... Uh, Ooh, something's... Attack, Dunkleys, attack! Oh my god! That is a lot of eels. Okay. Okay. Dunkleys are beasts. Okay, I see... Megalodon. Yep, you guys just keep... Why am I just chomping? I want that bio -doctor. That's... Where's my Dunkley? Thank you. I guess jellyfish stings can knock me off. There should be an explorer note in somewhere up at the top here. There should be like a little island. Um, can you guys eat that thing? Thank you. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure I don't have uh, that rebound the way I want it. Okay, so... Somewhere in here, there should be, like, a little shelf I can go hop on. And, yep, I see it now. It's this one here. Okay, now... Boom! This is the, one of the Nervaro Explorer notes. Okay. It's so hard to walk on land with... Oh, no. Yeah. This Dunkley has pinned me. Oh, all my Dunkleys have me pinned. I need to get this one moved. Okay. That should have fixed it. Come on. Now we dive. We gotta go under. Alright, do we got all three Dunkleys? Yep, they're following. Sometimes it's just the best way to see where you're going with all this many Dunkleys is just first person. So, um... Don't know how many more. There should be two more rooms. Hold up. Ugh, I gotta pull my map up. There we go. My map's pulled up. Okay, so if I'm correct, it should just be in this last chamber. Right? Yeah. And then I have to go up there and get an explorer now. So, where is it? Oh, there it is. No? Where's the... Okay, it's supposed to be in this room. Is it at the bottom? Oh, I, I think I, I'm... Am I stuck? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm about to be. You guys eat basically anything that's in here.
Okay, here it is. Artifact... Oh, uh, was it artifact container? So this is what I have them set up now. I can get saddle blueprints or armor blueprint. A tiny bit of element. It shouldn't go any more over 50 in an artifact. So that's how we... That's how drops on my are set up now on my, my server here. And you guys have pinned me in. Okay. Okay. Um, I got one more explorer note, I'm pretty sure, here as well. So, let's... Ooh. I gotta take off my, uh... There's a chance that there could also be bugs. Jeez, I almost forgot about that. Okay. There's shit, right? Explorer note up over here, if I'm correct. Should be, yep, there. There it is. Tusotusis! So now that is all three of them. I did get that other one other episode I might insert that part I don't know <laughs> I actually I don't even think I have that footage anymore so actually no I will not probably be inserting it because it's it's gone okay now you guys constantly have to get me stuck then watch this other dunkley is gonna just boop. Okay, now let's get out of here. Sometimes that's the harder part in the, these caves, because so, sometimes in the water caves, things don't spawn until after you pass through, or at least that was my experience in Ark Survival e Evolved. Um, I also do know that the other cave is a lot harder, like seriously harder. This one's actually a pretty short cave, and if you got some good creatures to munch through, like the Dunkleys here. I mean, it's it's super, super easy. All right, like I've almost forgot. I was suffocating or was losing oxygen. So let's maybe we can get some drops on the way out. I'm not seeing creatures. Uh, usually though, like in the water caves. The thing that's the big deal is the alphas that spawn. I don't. E I didn't even see an alpha this time through. Might want to no. My settings are good. Eh, it might just because this is the easy water cave. In theory, the other one is uh, is evil. It whoever designed it was they they wanted you to suffer. All right, that's what they wanted. All righty, we're out. We didn't run into a thing. That was, again, one of the easier caves in the game. Absolutely. Uh, I just think on a Megalodon with how many uh, eels are in there. And if you get tossed off, if you get tossed off, then you start taking damage and you just, boom, die <laughs> sometimes. Uh, but, yeah, I think the Dunkleys were a good option here. I don't think I needed this many. This many made it way too easy. But, you know, I mean, it helped a lot. Uh, I did get them done. They are in the genetic library now. All right? They weren't that hard to get. I kind of just did what I did with the Megalodon. Hopped on the back of the Rhino Nanthia and dived on him underwater. I'm pretty sure I could have even... Jeez. Did you get stuck? You got stuck. Okay. Yeah, no. I could have probably done this cave on the Rhino Nanthia. And been just fine. But we didn't. Um, ooh, biotoxin. I almost for completely forgot. You don't have any. Um... Some of these are going to be 
You got biotoxin? You do. Give me. Ah. Uh, little goblin here for that biotoxin. I need it because, again, we got to tame those one big Archelon turtles. And that's actually quite a bit. We got 300. I think that's way more than enough than what, what we're going to need. Let me quickly throw my ghillie suit back on. Just so that way if any dinos spot me, they don't spot me. It makes it harder for them to spot me, you know? Also, I grabbed some sap from the treehouse. And now I'm getting this guy some ammo. Also, there is another 150 Rhino Nanthi on the map. And seeing how we have started the genetic library and we have balanced creatures with stats I like on them. I was wondering if Kevin, not Kevin, not Kevin, the Giga Raptors, I'm not going to use Kevin for it. No, we're not going to, we're not going to sacrifice Kevin to the Rhino Nanthias. What we're going to do though, is we might use a Giga Raptor. If it's possible to impregnate a Giga Raptor with a Rhino Nanthia, we're going to try and do that and try and get the stats off of them because they have really good stats. The Giga Raptors have the best stats so far out of the three creatures that are in the library. And Megalodons are going to be in there soon as well. Because I got two Megalodons. 